some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City's Grand Central Station with the uh, frauditor known as Good Guy Activism, or as I like to call him, Vampire Boy. And he somehow managed to find a way to make himself an annoying little punk-ass SOB and uh, get himself kicked out of Grand Central Station. Oh boy, will wonders never cease. And then we have a classic Silence Boy video, which is quite hilarious. Because you know what? You never get tired of a Silence Boy uh, being uh, so scared that his head is on a swivel. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It's boy Good Guy Activism. We're here outside of Grand Central. That's the Chrysler building right there. Oh, so what? The uh, MTA is enforcing the uh, rules? Oh, yeah. So you don't like that. So this triggers you, right? So you want to go on to the train without paying? I suppose that's it? Okay, then. So really, dude, this says a lot about uh, you and how much of a criminal you want to be. Because you don't want to pay for the services that you receive that way, these services can be upgraded eventually when they have enough money to do upgrades, or even maintenance, for that matter. So, uh, I suppose that's what you want. You want the whole system to fall apart then? But alas, uh, my criminal scumbag friend, that's not how the real world works. Yeah, take note, uh, everybody. Uh, notice how he's filming everywhere, uh, but nobody's confronting him at this point. But later on, he goes into an area where it is not allowed because, you know, security reasons. Well, he's going to uh, reference the fact that he's able to film everywhere else. Why can't he film here? I mean, dude, secure area much? We're good guy activism here in Grand Central. Let's check out this booth, see how these people are working. Ooh, looky there. The frauditors attracted to shiny objects. Even though to the rest of us, uh, this shiny mirror-like uh, window right here is an indicator that this must be a secure area. And I'm sure they wouldn't welcome you uh, shoving your camera up to the glass. Uh, yeah, and that's exactly what happens. I also understand that jiggling car keys in front of them tends to gain a reaction out of them, too. Synthos is a big company for uniforms. It looks like they got government contracts. Always like to keep my audience riveted.
Who are you? The film again? What's your name? He didn't go back to work. He went to go get MTAPD. Well, gee, no shit. When you've got a, a frauded, tart, ass munching moron such as yourself uh, stalking people through uh, windows, yeah, I would suppose that they're about to call the police on you. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, sir, how you doing today? Hi. Hey, sir, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, all right. So, can you stop me for a second? Am I detained? You're not detained right okay. now. Okay. Can I talk to you? If you want, you can say whatever you want. So I'm a police officer and I'm asking to talk to you. So what's okay. going on? Why are you filming inside there? What's your name, ma'am? My name is Officer Cook. I'm with the MTA PD. Okay. Okay, what's your name, sir? How can I help you? How can I help you? So I got a call for service here. Okay? okay. Because you're filming. Okay. You're filming inside the building. Okay. Okay? And you're filming inside the building. Is there a reason why you're doing that today? Is there something wrong with that? So you cannot film inside there? Why not? Film inside there? Yeah, why not? Instead of there. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Do I need it? Well, I'm requesting your ID, and that's a level one stop. So at first, we're going to start this. Level one is a request for identification. Okay? So are you going to fail to produce your identification today? How long have you been on the force, ma'am? Does it matter? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yes. Are you her supervisor? Yes. She's okay. giving you a lawful order. Do you have an ID or not? What law are you enforcing? Right here. She called you to me inside. Okay. Is that illegal? No. So All right then. This is a consent. This is a consensual. You, you need a ticketed passenger. You're back You didn't here. say that. So you're filming. You didn't say that at all. The signs up here. Where? No trespass. Show me. You're filming up here. Show Sorry. me a sign that says that. Sir. People don't get a well, gee, I wonder why. Because you refused to go to them to begin with. And uh, why would that be? Well, could it be because that wouldn't fit with your narrative? That wouldn't fit with uh, how your audience would perceive everybody as tyrants. And seeing as how, A, you apparently haven't paid any ticket yet, and B, you're being a voyeur in this area, you know, filming in a window that apparently uh, is a secure area to begin with, yeah, I would say that you're trespassing at this point. On the train here? What if I was getting on the train? You need a ticket. I can buy my ticket on the train, sir. Oh, it's just, it'll be, it'll be a little bit more expensive, but I can buy my ticket on the train, sir. Sir. Here. Right. Show me, show me a sign that says I can't. This isn't publicly accessible. Where? Look at member of the public, member of the public, Sorry. member of the public. Look at all those members. Okay, I'm in a public. Uh, I'm not in there. I'm Listen, in public. You're an auditor. I know you're trying to get us. Amped I'm not up. an auditor, ma'am. We are just addressing. I didn't approach you, ma'am. You yes, approached correct. me. I approached you because I had a right. call for service. I'm exercising my rights peacefully. I didn't Listen. call you. Do you still so? So. Have the camera playing? Yes. Of course. Okay. Just to inform you, you need a ticket to get on. We're here. Guiding tickets behind here. This is oh, bullshit, dude. If you actually had those tickets on you, then you would have presented them uh, to the officer right here and uh, made them out to be some sort of bad guy in this situation, which you could have easily done already. But no, uh, you strangely enough, you don't ever show them on this video at all. So, you know, it makes you wonder if, I don't know, you're lying? Why they're here for. Can right? I buy a ticket on the train? Right now, as of now, no, we're guiding the tickets, okay? We're checking tickets when did that before start? you get on. This started two months ago to avoid fare evasion, okay? Oh, but so you need to scan the tickets. I have a question. If somebody got on the train, they needed to get home. This happened to me before, but I didn't have money. The, the conduct, you need your ID can I, then. Can I please finish okay. my sentence? The conductor on the train took my ID and wrote me something so I could pay for it later. Yeah, that's right. fine. But as of so now, when you, we're checking tickets, we change the policy. What I'm saying Before is, you get if on, you need an it. ID. If you don't have it, uh -huh. you need to have your ID. We check the list. If you did not pay a ticket in the past, you're not getting on the train. That means you're going to be taken off the train and arrested. Okay. Okay? You can't do it more than arrested once. Arrested for what? Fair evasion? Arrested for double service because you didn't pay the first ticket. Oh. I'm trying, 
Does right. the, does that go to your credit? If you don't if you don't pay for, for the first the credit, ticket, does it go to like your, your credit no, you report? Because you own the city. You have to go to court. Oh, okay. okay. I thought it goes to like your credit. Like if you don't pay a ticket. No, because it's not a violation. Like she said, it's an unclassified misdemeanor. You can go to court. For Very. It. Evasion yeah, of fare is a misdemeanor yes, now? Yes. It used to be a violation, right? Uh, that for service call was always a misdemeanor. Oh, okay. I've been here It's a low years. level. It's, it's a low level like misdemeanor. Yeah. It's not like it's murder. So. Okay, okay. Is that how you classify your crimes? Anything below murder is okay? Is that how you uh, see these things? Well, dude, uh, I'm sorry to break the bad news to you from this goody two-shoes, and that's what you called me for being a law follower, according to you. Yeah, that's not exactly how the real world works, dude, because we all know that you and other fraudulenters have this victimless crime mindset that anything, well, that doesn't create a victim isn't a crime. Do you have your right. ID? I don't give ID, sir. I'm I'm in the public area watching my government. Because I'm asking you for it. Yeah, I didn't commit a crime. Excuse me. I didn't commit I can a crime. Ask you, for your ID. you can ask me, yeah. Okay, then you're ejected. How about that? Ejected from where? How about we uh, correct this for taking pictures of a restricted area? Because you know, you know that mirror glass had to be a restricted area. You damn well knew that. You just wanted to see how far you could get away with it. And well, you effed around and found out and got kicked out of Grand Central Station for your trouble. Yeah. Ejected from the station. Why? I, I didn't commit a crime. Because you you're committing uh, OGA. My boss is OGA how? identification. OGA is physical, ma'am. No. 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 Me so taking pictures is not obstructing. No. I I'm asking you. you for instructions to give me your ID. So if you don't produce an ID, I'm gonna well, ask I'm you to leave And I'm asking, why would I need to give you ID? I'm because, in public. Because I'm warning you not to film inside the sensitive area. If you continue to do so, you're gonna be subject to arrest or ejection. I'm asking you for an ID. I'm being a gentleman about it. I'm, all right, let me okay? ask you a question. Because I need to Am know who is trying right to film now? in there. Am I committing a crime right now? Sir. Right as of now, I'm asking for ID. If you fail to give me your ID, now I gotta ask you one more time. I'm gonna take you downstairs and I'm gonna ask you for ID. Their fingerprint, you, okay? Okay. So I wanna file a complaint. Have... Can I do that now? No. Why Where not? is your ID? Are you ejecting me out? Yes. Okay. You're ejecting. I need your name and badge number. So I wanna file a complaint. So you're objecting me for taking pictures in a public area? No, that's the so sensitive why are you objecting area. Me? That's the sensitive area. I'm asking you. What's the sensitive? Is it publicly accessible? Yes or no? That's not a public area there. there. Is not that accessible there. to the public? No. But you're not, not supposed to film that. You're not supposed to film that. Why you gotta lie to me? I know how to. I know how to leave. I'm not detained, so stop it. I need your name and badge number so I can file a complaint on you, which I have a First Amendment right to do. Okay. What if I couldn't read? Can you say it for me, please, for the record? Can you say it for the record? Here. What's your what's your badge number? Seventy eight. So you're you're kicking me out of a public area. Why? I'm asking you for identification. You what do I need to give you? I'm in public. I didn't commit a crime. Why do I have to give you I my can ID? Ask you for ID? You can ask you all you if want. I don't have to give it to you because I didn't so. commit a crime. Mm -hmm. Are you demanding ID for a crime? I didn't commit a crime. You said it yourself. I didn't commit a crime. So why do I have to give you ID? Because I'm giving you a warning. You're being ejected. A That's warning. It. You got. You need my ID for a warning. You're not allowed to come back here. Until when? Forever. You trespassing me from Grand Central? For the record, are you trespassing me from Grand Central? So I can't. I can't go home. I can't get on the train. That's what you're saying. I can't get on that Harlow 125th. I can't take the. You can go to one. I can't take the Metro North. Yeah, you can. The different station, not here. So, station, so, so you. Sure. All right. So you're kicking me out of a public place. For an act, for a constitutionally protected activity, right? No. Yeah, for You're photography. You're not protected against filming the sensitive area. Okay, I was in a public area. No. That's yes, I was. Center. Yes, so I was. The, the so public goes there. to that train. The public goes there you to get on a train. That's a publicly by. accessible area. It doesn't matter. It's still public. It's still publicly accessible. It's publicly accessible. You want to violate my rights? That's on you. Uh, you know, the camera doesn't lie. I know that you're arguing that you were in a public area filming, but the, and like I said, the camera doesn't lie. You were uh, taking that camera and filming a uh, restricted area through that uh, glass that was obviously meant to uh, block people's view. 
I mean, come on now, dude. You can uh, lie all you want, but the camera tells the truth. I have to get on the 6th train. All right, go to 1, 2, 5, Harlan, or uh, 3. Go to the you want me to walk from here to 125th Street to get on? I got to get on the 5th train. There's, hold on a second. You violated my rights, so I don't... On the corner, on 42nd Street, uh -huh. there's a subway. The 6th train, you can uh -huh. take that to 125th uh, Street. Okay. You cannot okay. take the train to 125th Street from here. You know why? Because it does there. not stop there. It doesn't stop there to let passengers Are you talking about the Metro North or are you talking yeah, about the 5th train? the Metro North. The subway you can take. The Metro North does not eat let people out from 125th Street. Of course, Harlem is the next stop. No, it's only to pick up passengers, not to let people off. Different schedule. But if the door is open, can't people no. get off? No. It's when did that start? That. It's not meant for that. You can just catch the subway there on 42nd uh -huh. and Lexington there. I need to know how long I'm trespassed from here. How long you trespassed? Yeah, because I, I, I come here all the time. Today. Okay, your man today. Okay. Uh, if we see you tomorrow, uh -huh. filming that sensitive okay. area again, you could be liable to arrest. For what? Don't mean the sensitive area. No, you're not photography. You're, exactly, because you're videotaping. I don't want to be a tenant. Walk and talk. 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 Walk and I'll be back tomorrow. No, dipstick. Uh, he said you would be arrested for trespassing, not for filming. Stop lying on camera. You think I'm scared to get arrested for OGA? You think I'm scared to get arrested for OGA? That shit will get dismissed. You know, Davy Boy, lying comes very easy to you, doesn't it? I mean, you're making up lies in the middle of this whole thing. I mean, and it doesn't even bother you, does it? I mean, it would bother me, that's for sure. But then again, like you called me a couple of years ago, you called me a goody two-shoes to my face, practically. But you know what? At least I can say that I have a good job. I've got a good paying job, anyway. And that I can go home at night and uh, sleep soundly with the fact that I don't have anybody uh, wanting to uh, look into my background thinking I'm a criminal scumbag like you are. Speaking of criminal scumbags, let's take a look at a uh, event that uh, happened, uh, well, in Silence Boy's past, as he ended up uh, getting a uh, street vendor arrested because of his own stupidity, and, well, not even the fraud in the community uh, liked him too much for that, and he ended up having to have his head on a swivel for a while. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Anybody who's ever watched this beta boy knows how much of a misogynist he is. I mean, he's perfectly willing to walk up to a female street vendor like this and call her a perra, which is the Spanish term for a female dog, if you get my drift. Mira lo que haces para sobrevivir, que vergüenza. Yo no, yo no ando de ambulante. Lambo con ambulante, perra. Me tocaste, ya te voy a echar la policía, me pegaste. Perra, ahorita que le voy a... Oh, poor baby. You weak beta boy, you're gonna cry over a single love tap? I mean, come on, dude. Don't do yourself a favor and don't even go into professional wrestling because your friends will be hitting you much harder than that. Try taking a leg drop from a 400 pound man like I have. It's not fun.
A ver si vienen. I got assaulted by a lady. Oh, beta boy, do you want some milk and cookies and your favorite blanket to make you feel better? What happened? I was filming on the sidewalk and she saw that she turned and hit my hand. Are you okay? Yeah. So you I got it on video. Okay. Liar! Uh, nope. You were the instigator in this case. You called her a female dog. Do you need the ambulance or anything? No. Do you know where she went? She's over there and then some other two guys wanted to fight me. So that's why I left over there. I'm, I'm over here. Okay, let's get I'm glad you're okay. Um, are they still there? Yeah. Okay, what would you like to happen? You want a private person's arrest? Could that be done? That could be done, but you're going to be the one going to court. You place them in the arrest, okay? And understand that since this is a misdemeanor, not committing our presence, they also have the right, based on what their statement is, to place you in an arrest as well. So I would like to talk to them first, find out what the situation is, what happened. Even though I didn't do nothing, that's... Well, unfortunately, that's... The portion of it that's where it comes along to us based off the statements based on what they're saying to us we have to do an investigation let's step off the driveway right? okay so tell me real quick what happened i was filming on the sidewalk uh, filming that's that specific person because you could do that that's public yeah, of course she comes out to my camera and smacks my hand she smacks your hand yeah what, what was her reasoning because i was filming there you have every right to film, but you don't have no right. Did she ask you not to film or anything like that? No. She, she just came up to you to sit Yeah. Hand? Okay. And then uh, after that, what happened? After that, two guys came out and they wanted to fight me. So that's why I moved from over there to the escalator. Okay. You said you had it on camera? Yeah. Can I see it real quick? Yeah. Do you want to go to You despicable scumbag beta boy. There are so many more adjectives I could use for this idiot, but they may violate YouTube terms of service, so I won't. You got a street vendor who's just trying to make a living arrested because, what, she slapped you to get you out of her way? You are more than double her size. You could have just ignored it and went on your way. I bet your mother must be so proud of you. And upon further investigation, come to find out, your mother and your entire family were proud of you for getting this woman arrested. In fact, there is a history of your entire family harassing this woman. I will put a link in the description below to a video that covers that particular drama right there. But, for now, let's just move on to why he's called Swivelhead now. What up, what up? There's gonna be a lot of people in here. 17. Um... <laughs> 
I knew there was gonna be a lot of people in this life. Hell yeah. Why is there a lot of haters though? Hating, hating. I just go outside, hey, Super 23 ends in my peeps. There's a lot of haters. I just go outside to film. Uncle Abe, what up? I just appreciate the things. People are think, what is it called? Just a quick update, everyone. There's a lot of haters, but they still keep watching my content, everyone. Yeah, there were a lot of haters, and there were a lot of people looking for you. That's why your head was swiveling so much. Yeah, people don't much like it when you target some innocent person on the street who's just trying to get by, and then get them arrested. The continent so people think i'm gonna stop recording no 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 i'm gonna keep on filming i didn't do anything wrong that's simple everyone i'm gonna keep up continuing 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 filming it's police then i'm gonna probably film what is it called peak public servants of cannibal and everything like that People don't understand that she attacked me. You were the instigator the whole time, dude. So it's understandable why you had to lay low for a while. And no matter how much you tried to justify it, there was one more insult to the injury. As I do every morning, I search through some of the most despised Despicable frauditors on the planet, and I usually start with Silence Boy because I hate him the most, but I couldn't find his account. I kept typing in Silence Boy First Amendment, and nothing came up. So I went to my saved list that I keep, and I clicked on it, and it says this account has been terminated for violating YouTube's community guidelines. Finally. Finally, ooh, we hit him in the pocket. Good. Oh, that poor thing. What's his mommy going to say now? She thought he had a good job at Wells Fargo Bank. And here he was frauditing all day, not cleaning his room. But alas, it was just a temporary ban. He came back a few days later. You lost a lot of street cred on doing that particular stunt. Even your own... Fellow frauditors called you out on that. That is why you were such a swivel head at that particular time. Now, as far as I understand, the community got together for a GoFundMe and got her tens of thousands of dollars to help her out. So, there is at least some human decency left in this world. It's a shame you're not part of it. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?